So you're so you're saying that that the Proify knows when the engine at its degree and its rotation, it knows exactly when there is the possibility of 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 knock. Correct. So so if it's in the uh, uh, exhaust stroke of the cycle and there's some noise, it's not gonna it's gonna it's gonna learn that noise and disregard it. Yes, it would disregard it. It has to be on that cylinder's firing event and within that window for it to trigger. That's very impressive. Like we've shown you here. Any other that's questions? Right. Man, I, I don't know. I think that's, that's pretty good. Uh, I know the success that we've had with it has been, has been flawless in the way that it's run. But this, um, this level of understanding has helped me a lot. So... So now that I've gotten the Proify and I've installed it into my car, as a user or the, the or my installer, or if I wanted to do it myself, how do we set up the knock control? All you have to do is turn it on. It's already set up for the specific application. So if you have a Supra, um, it's already set up for the bore size that you have. If you go 20 over, it's not going to make enough of a difference to really matter. So you don't have to go in and change your filter coefficients and all that stuff. It's already done for you. We've got it set to a point where it's going to encompass your stock bore size to a 40 over motor. It's not going to be a problem. It's, it's not a big enough change. So all you really need to do is go into your engine configuration. And this is the dealer software, so you know normal customers don't really have to mess with this stuff. But you just go in here and you go into your knock manager and you turn it on. Just to enable it. It's not enabled, obviously, from... Uh, from the factory, but you know, you can That's, turn it on. All we have to do is just have it activated and it does everything else itself. There's no lines to draw, there's nothing to teach it. Nope, there's nothing else, that, there's really nothing else to do. Now, you could go in there and play with some of your filters and things like that if you wanted to, but it's really not going to gain you anything. Um, the way the system works, it automatically determines background noise and filters that out anyway. So, there's really no limits to put in there. Uh, you know, you may say, okay, I don't want to pull. 20 degrees of timing if knock occurs and I don't want to add you know two times the fuel so you may want to go in and limit some of that stuff but the but rest is, is... But like, you really don't need to. You don't need to. Well that that is wonderful. So Jason tell me um, uh, another question I had for you is how sensitive is the knock control? Okay right now we're giving a 5 volt peak to peak burst of knock which is pretty severe knock and you can see over here that tells you the intensity of the knock right there compared to normal background noise. Okay? That's, and that's a severe knock? That's a severe knock. Okay. That's as bad as you can really have as far as the, the knock sensor is going to be at its limit saying it's, it's knocking. It's telling you full on. Okay, so if I want to go in here and maybe change this from 5 volts peak to peak to 0.25 volts peak to peak. Okay, you're going to see that. You can hardly even see those blips on the scope trace, right? Right. Okay. Well, right now, it's saying, okay, that's very little knock, so it's pulling just a couple of degrees of timing out here and there. That's, a, that's, that's just like almost knocking. Okay, almost. That's an intensity that's like maybe it's a little bit of knock, so it's pulling a little bit of time, one or two degrees. So the, the more the amplitude goes up, then the greater the knock, and it's going to pull it. Now maybe I want to make this 2.5 volts peak to peak. And that's still enough knock, it's pulling all the timing out. So it's a severity thing as well, not just I went above a line, start pulling timing. It's, it's based on the severity of it as well. So we could set this, uh, uh, this thing will pick up something. Let's say if you're, if you're Supra, you're normally driving your Toyota Supra around, let's say, and you're running on 91 octane premium, which is not a very good uh, premium, and you normally get 19 pounds of boost or 20 pounds of boost, uh, uh, and then, then you go out of town and you get what you call, let's say, a bad load of gas. You're not quite, maybe it's falling a little couple of, of, of octane short of what you were. This subtle differences could protect the engine and still allow you to make a lot of power while you're running around on that pump. Yeah, and it's going to work like the factory knock control would work, where it's pulling timing just based on the severity of the knock, and it would allow you to get away with that. Uh, you know, to a degree, I mean, the computer to pick up knock, it has to have happened. So you always want to, you know, try and be competent in what you're doing, but the knock control is there to help you in those instances. It's not there to tune against, tune up to the point where it's knocking, you know, that type of thing. You don't want to use it as a, as a safety net in that aspect. You want it to be as the factory meant it to be.